Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable. And you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, acne, rosacea, eczema, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, you want to contribute to the conversation, you have questions about ingredients or skin care or skin health or the truth treatment products, 844-236-6010 is our number. We want to hear from you. We love hearing from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a question about something, please understand somebody else may have that same question. Be generous. Share yourself, share your success stories especially. All right, we're talking fats, we're talking fatty hormones, we're talking the skin. And uh, when it comes to fats, when it comes to uh, how we treat fats, how we utilize fats and their fundamental, nat- their fundamental importance when it comes to the disease process, it is so, so tragic that we misunderstand fats in food. When I was growing up in the 60s and 70s and 80s, Everybody was fascinated with this low-fat fad. Everything was about fat, low-fat. Today, it's not as bad, but still, you have people who don't understand the nature of fats and the difference between good fats and bad fats. When I say people, I'm talking largely, or in large part, the medical model, representatives of the medical model, who still are confused about the idea of good fat, about the nature of good fat. So you got different kinds of fats. fats The fats that most of us ingest on a regular basis Dietary fats are called triglycerides. You've all heard that term, triglycerides. A triglyceride is is really a very simple concept. Tri means three, and glyceride means glycerin. And a triglyceride is just a combination of glycerin and fat. Triglycerides. It's got three elements of fat for every one element of of glycerin. Glycerin is the same stuff that you see in your skincare products and and in, in soaps and also in in processed foods. Glycerin sweet. Smoked meats will have glycerin. Condensed milk sometimes has glycerin in it. Frozen desserts oftentimes will have glycerin in it. So in a triglyceride, the glycerin is combined with three pieces of fat, triglyceride. And the fats are going to have names like stearic acid, palmitic acid, linoleic acid. They're called fatty acids. They're called, actually, they're called long chain fatty acids. As opposed to the short chain fatty acids that are so important for your digestive system, the, they're found in butter and vinegar and fermented foods. And as opposed to medium triglycerides that are found in coconut oil, they're so important for your brain and for the ketogenic diet and for the blood sugar system. Long chain fatty acids play their own role. So you have to remember three kinds of fats or three sizes of fatty acids, the short, the medium, and the long. The shorter for the digestive system play an important role in digestive health. The medium ones play an important role in brain health and in the blood sugar system. And then the long ones play an important role in structure and in hormones. The long ones play important roles in structure and hormones and also energy storage. Triglycerides are found everywhere in nature, and the long chain fats are found everywhere in nature. They're super cheap, and they have lots of consumer applications. Everything from furniture polish to pill manufacturing to uh, uh, chemi- nasty chemicals like insecticides and fertilizers and lubricating oils and vaccines and uh, rubber manufacturing, paints and varnishes. These are all 
consumer products that depend on fatty acids. And they're especially useful in the skincare business. In fact, we wouldn't even have a skincare business without these long chain fats. These long chain fats that are attached to glycerin are the fundamental element of the modern skincare product. The skincare company was actually born, or the skincare business was actually born out of uh, the modern skincare business, I should say, was born out of the need to use these fats. There was all these fats that were in abundance because we used to use them for candle burning and we used to use them for, uh, well, carous, for basically for light is what they basically used them for back in the 18th century and uh, the 19th century, the, the early 19th century, they were used to make candles when, when we, and also for lard too, also to eat. But when we switched over to vegetable oil, when we switched over to vegetable oil, there was all this excess fat sitting around, and they didn't know what to do with all that fat. They didn't know what to do with all that triglyceride. And uh, they started mixing the fats up with all the, with all the oil, not the triglycerides, but the fatty acids with oil and water and emulsifiers, and they invented the modern skin cream. To this day, uh, uh, I think it's Palm, Palm, uh, Palm, what's the name of that? Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble is located in Cincinnati because that's where all the pig farms were. So anyway, you've got two of these long-chain fats that are super-duper important. They're so important we call them essential. One's called LA, the other's called ALA, but they're, the, the take-home message is they're like vitamins. They're essential nutrients, and they're nothing more than fats that are attached to a glycerin molecule that you get in, uh, you get in seeds, mostly, sometimes in grains grasses, we talked about them. They store energy. They're part of the cell structure, these essential fats. They're oxygen magnets. That's one of the most important roles they play. They attract oxygen to cells. This is why when you eat, when you don't eat these essential fatty acids and you eat lots of processed fats, trans fats, hydrogenated fats, and your, your body starts to make cells out of hydrogenated fats instead of the EFAs that are deficient, Oxygen does not get attracted to cells. We know cancer is an oxygen issue, a, a problem with lack of oxygen. This is how trans fatty acids and hydrogenated fatty acids, when we eat too much of them, are associated or linked to cancer. In fact, they're linked to pretty much every chronic health, health issue via this mechanism where the body tries to stick the, the synthetic processed fats into a cell. Remember, all disease is cell disease, and any, uh, anything that distorts a cell, that, that changes the shape of a cell, it can't help but lead to the disease state. Still, the most fundamental, the most important role when it comes to health for the EFAs is not uh, ALA and LA, these essential fatty acids, is not in the structure of the cell, although that's pretty darn important, but it's in how these EFAs control inflammation and anti-inflammation. They are the molecules of inflammation and they're the molecules of anti-inflammation. When they're out of balance, the inflammatory and anti-inflammatory balance is thrown off as well. The EFAs do both. They, they turn on inflammation, which is a good thing in the case of trauma or wounding. Inflammation is part of the body's protective response, and they're also anti-inflammatory. EFAs are your natural Motrin. They're natural Naproxen. They're natural anti-inflammatories. Omega-3s are natural anti-inflammatories. That's how fish oil works. That's how flaxseed oil works to quench inflammation. They get turned into the, they are the molecules of anti-inflammation and inflammation. Inflammation is the key point to understand, folks, when it comes to all health challenges. Whether you're talking chronic health challenges or acute mechanical health challenges, it's always going to be about inflammation. If you break a bone, you're going to be dealing with macro-inflammation. Or if you have an infection, maybe, you'll have macro-inflammation. But if you have long-term assault on the body, you're going to end up with micro-inflammation that is chronic and over, uh, uh, progressive, occurring over and over and over again. And it will start off invisibly. And then it will work its way up to a full-blown degenerative disease. It'll work its way up to arthritis. And you'll be like, oh, my God, I was sitting here watching TV, and all of a sudden I got arthritis. And you're not going to know it because the microinflammation builds up chronically, progressively over the course of years and decades. And every single chronic degenerative disease, every single one of them is preceded by it. So doesn't it make sense to try to figure this thing out? All right, so we'll take a break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we 
are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or benfuchsarchives.com. You can also check out our blogs, and also you can purchase Longevity products right off the websites as well, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Our number here on the Bright Side today, and we do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you're in the Longmont or Denver area, I will be doing a talk for my good friends Tom and Denise and Marianne at uh, Longevity Super Saturday. That's 750 West 17th Street in Longmont. The zip is 80501. I'll probably be talking from, I don't know, 12 to, 12 to 1 or something like that, 1130 to 1. And then before that, they do a really cool business meeting. Tom Chenault does a, puts on a great show. It's highly entertaining. If you're in the Denver or uh, eastern Colorado area and you want to come down, or even in Wyoming area, 750 West 17th Street, Longmont, 80501. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel made with a whole bunch of vitamin C, our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. Actually, there's a tiny touch of something called fullerene in there, which is a really cool ingredient. Buckyballs, they, they, they're known as. Fullerenes are important for, uh, they've got antioxidant properties, preservative properties, and they also help deliver the active ingredients to the lower levels of the skin. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Okay. So it's all about inflammation, and inflammation at least partially involves essential fatty acids when we're talking chronic degenerative diseases. That means for all chronic degenerative diseases, think ultimate EFAs. Now, also you need, of course, to be able to process your EFAs, and that means you've got to work on intestinal health. There's a really cool and interesting and underappreciated relationship between the microbiome and fats. One of the jobs of the bacteria that live in the gut that are called the microbiome that we have only really understood over the last 20 or 25 years since the early 1990s, that's when all of the studies on probiotics and the microbiome really began in earnest. As it turns out, these bacteria, this universe of bacteria is critical for helping the body process fats. And this is one of the major reasons why when we have a messed up digestive system, we're bound to have problems with our fats. One of the reasons. So it's not just taking in your ultimate EFAs, as important as that is, you gotta make sure you're processing them, and that means probiotics, the nightly essence, fermented foods. It also means digestive enzymes, like your ultimate enzymes. And it also means apple cider vinegar as well for activating some of these enzymes. There's all kinds of strategies, not that aren't specifically nutritional strategies, but they help the body utilize nutritional strategies, specifically things we can do for our digestive system. In fact, this is, that's, you know, comes as no surprise anybody has been listening to this program for any length of time. I'm not beating anybody up about food, but the fact is that at the root of all chronic degenerative disease in terms of our triangle, you've got a breakdown in the digestive system, and we talk about it all the time, but repetition is reinforcement. Whenever disease shows up, it always follows a progressive breakdown of the digestive system first, the blood sugar system next, and the adrenal thyroid complex third. And all health challenges proceed from that point. And your doctor will say your Alzheimer's is incurable because he doesn't know about the triangle of disease. He needs to listen to this program because nobody talks about it. So he'll say your Alzheimer's is irreversible. Or he'll say it's idiopathic. We don't know what causes it. Or he'll look for some kind of uh, enzyme that's building up in the brain. I saw a commercial, or I saw an internet, one of those internet commercial things for, that I get. You guys probably get them all the time. Content marketing, they call it, where they, they give you a little video about, about the, the new, latest cure, the magical cure for disease. This one's on Alzheimer's. It has a first thing you see on this video is a, a guy with a gun shooting it, implying that you're going to kill the Alzheimer's disease. Not the patient, hopefully, but the disease. Well, you don't need to kill Alzheimer's disease. This, commercial, this particular video is about an enzyme called STEP, S-T-E-P, or an enzyme that, helps, that, that causes the buildup of this STEP. Well, STEP's the enzyme, I think. In any case, this chemical STEP builds up in the brain. When you have all 